Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. We are going to be dipping into some of my Black Friday haul today, and I'm really pumped. I did already feature my entire Black Friday haul, well, I would say like 90% of it, in a video. I will have that link down below, but today I'm gonna to be trying out two of the brands that I did pick up products from in those Black Friday sales. One of them being a brand I've never tried before and one that I have tried a little bit of and really wanted to get some more products to try. So the first one is going to be Odin's Eye. So if you saw my Black Friday haul, you will know that I, I did a pretty good purchase from Odin's Eye and that included three eyeshadow palettes and I really couldn't decide which one to dive into first. So what I did, was I left it up to all of you. If you aren't following on Instagram, you should go over and follow at Keep Beauty Real because you'll be able to get into polls like these. So I did put a poll in my stories and asked all of you which one you would like to see. So we're gonna be using the winner of that poll today. And I have a couple other items to be using. And then I also have some products from Glossier and Glossier is a brand that I've tried two or three items from before. Um, I think everybody knows that I love liquid blushes, so I have <laughs> tried their cloud paints, but I did decide to pick up a few other things that I'd had my eye on and I was waiting for a sale. The reason I'm grouping these two together, <laughs> these brands probably don't seem like they have like similar aesthetics, but I think we can really make it work. And mostly it's just because all of these products basically make up a full face. It just randomly, I was like looking and I'm like, wow, I can really get a full face out of all of these products. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos, including more Black Friday goodie try-ons, because I'm sure they're gonna be coming. We are gonna dive right in. Today, I am wearing my Need Coffee shirt, even though I don't need coffee at this point because I've had two Cuban coffees already. So I'm jazzed and ready to roll. So I'm gonna pull my hair back and we're gonna get started with the eyes, just because this is a formula I haven't used before. And if it gets all over my face, I wanna be able to clean it off. Let's go. Now, the three eyeshadow palettes that I purchased were the Norns palette, the Hummingbird palette, which of course is with Tina the Fancy Face, and also Giant Wolves from Annette's Makeup Corner. And that is the one that won. It was actually, it was close for a while, but this is the one that won out in the end, and I'm excited to use this one. This color story looks really beautiful. Now, I did see that on the Odin's Eye website, this one is sold out, but I am still going to use it because I'm sure a lot of you may already have it. Maybe you're looking for some inspo, or maybe you're looking at trying to pick it up on Mercari, something like that. And this way we can just really try out the formula together. I'm really, I'm really excited. And what I think I'm going to do uh, is kind of like a blurpily smoky eye. I said in my recent Reflections BYOP video that I've been getting into doing more blues and purples. And I think that this time of year, like rolling into the winter, it's a really good time to pull out those blurpily tones. I'm definitely like super interested to try out this beautiful shade here. Maybe we'll pull in this bright one here. I think we're just gonna have some fun with it and I'm excited to dive right in. So. Like I said, I did want to start out with a naked face in case the shimmers in here are Fallout City. I've never used these before uh, and I wanted to have a little, a little safety net for myself. So today I'm gonna go ahead and go through with the classic Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This is the Eden shade and this is the primer that I use, either this or just like a standby concealer. That's what I use when I'm trying an eyeshadow brand out for the first time just because I know, I know how this performs. And so I'm not trying something that, you know, I haven't used before and I don't know if it's the primer or the eyeshadow that is giving me trouble. So now that I have that laid down, it just helped brighten up my eyes and get a steady canvas going. I am going to go through and just tap a little bit of the RCMA No Color Powder, like right where my crease and above is, just to avoid any skipping. I do find that the Urban Decay primer, just because it is so like, grippy that sometimes it can cause a little er, er, er situation and I don't want that to happen, especially considering that we're gonna be using these dark shades. Um, that just really makes everything show up. So I'm just taking the Wayne Goss number no. four and I'm just like dusting this all the way up to my brow bone, but really kind of avoiding the lid because I want to keep that area a little bit more tacky. Oh, wow, I just am swatching these shimmers for the first time. Um, I'm not doing like a whole like swatch thing. You guys have probably all seen this palette, but I have not touched it yet. And I'm kind of like swatching through here to see what I want to use. <sighs> this eternal shade. Oh, okay, we are definitely going to have to use that in some way, shape or form. That is a badass mamma jamba. I'm so excited to use this palette. All right, so uh, first we're gonna lay down some mattes to get our little smoky base going. 
I'm very excited. All right, so we're gonna start out and rather than like work from transition down, I'm actually gonna start out with like the smokiest color and work my way up. I just find that for me, it really helps visually for me to like create a shape and I just find that it's just a little easier to blend to that way because I can just kind of like layer as I go. I don't know, it's gonna be the way that I go today. So I'm gonna take that Cosmo shade that's that like darker, like indigo blurpily shade. And here I have a MAC 242 brush. I'm just tapping it off once I get some uh, product on my brush. I'm just tapping it off to make sure that I don't get too much fallout. <laughs> okay, that was literally two dips, two dips into the pan. Um, and if I, if I had really like given it a moment, I probably only would have needed one dip. I just am so used to like having to like tap back in to get more pigment. Oh, this is pigmented. Okay, so next I'm gonna take Azure. That is that bright, like, mm, it's not, it's like a coneflower blue. Coneflower, cornflower, you know, that one shade. I'm thinking of the uh, Crayola crayon that I used to have with that color. Uh, and we're just gonna like layer this and blend this in. By the way, I'm using the Wayne Goss number seven. I decided to pull out the edit set uh, just because that's what I use to like set down that RCMA powder. And I was like, oh, I haven't used some of these brushes in a while. So I'm gonna like pull these out. Okay, now I'm taking a blaze, which is that pinky magenta shade. I tell you what, Annette did such a great job with this color story. I freaking love it. And by the way, I'm using the number six. I don't, I honestly don't know if I said that or not. Now I'm just gonna tap back into that Cosmo shade just to tap a little bit more color on right where all of those shades sort of meet up just because in the blending process, I kind of like lost it. And then just to like blend those edges, I'm taking that brush that I had the, uh, the ablaze shade on the number six and I'm just putting that on the very tip, just adding a little bit of Cosmos just to be able to like fluff this out a little bit. I'm taking a Wayne Goss number three and I'm just kind of like hitting these edges here. The only thing that I'm not loving is this Azure shade. If I blend it out too much, it is getting a little bit green because of my like golden undertones and I, I definitely don't want green. All right, we have crazy amounts of fallout from that, from that blue shade. Uh, that's fine, that's why I did my face last. Well, I'm doing my face last. So I'm taking a little bit of glitter glue and I'm just putting this down on the center of the lid. This is the uh, NYX glitter glue, by the way. No, it's not, it's the Too Faced glitter glue. Lying. So I'm just gonna tap this on to use some of that uh, Magic Eternal shade. Well, it's called Eternal, but I think it's Magic. So Magic Eternal. All right, so we're just gonna pop a little bit of this on. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 <laughs> okay, this is beautiful. I'm a rainbow. Okay, I am just taking the other side of that MAC 242 that I was using and I'm just like blending these edges. All right, I love this. I love, I love, I love this. I know I keep saying that, I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> the mattes are incredibly pigmented and obviously that shimmer shade is amazing. So I was gonna do like an inner corner highlight but I feel like that's gonna like take away from what's going on here. So I am going to clean up all of this fallout. We're gonna do a little bit of the face. We'll probably come back and do a lower lash line. We've got lots of goodies to play with, so let's get going. Okay, so now it's time to pop into a little bit of the Glossier for a bit. Uh, one of the products that I'm really excited to try is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This, I feel like I did, I did not get my right shade. I think this is gonna be just about my skin tone right now, but I would prefer it to be just a bit a bit lighter than my skin tone for working underneath the eye just to brighten it up a smidge. However, I did not do that, but that is fine. I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna try doing just like a very light coverage and using this kind of all over the face 
situation. I feel like with an eye look like this, you usually you want maybe just a little bit more coverage to balance it out, but you all know that I'm not really a full coverage girl ever. So I have the shade G8, and I think I got confused when I was on the site trying to pick my shade. Uh, I think I got confused in the shade range, and I think I maybe got like, I went down instead of up, or like down in depth. But, oh, actually, okay, like, this, this actually isn't too bad. I bet in the summertime when I've got a little bit more color, this is going to be, this is going to be really good. Now I know that this is a very emollient product. So, uh, I will be, I will be setting it a little bit. I don't use a ton of powder, but, um, I do really like, I do really probably need to set my under eye with this look, especially since I'm probably going to be smoking out the lower lash line. Now, this is definitely not a like full coverage concealer, but that looks really nice. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at this coverage level. Um, boy, you can see though how emollient it is. Like it is shiny in the pot. Um, and it definitely gave like some nice radiance under my eyes. Uh, I'll probably just use like a little bit of light setting powder underneath the eye and then I don't know we're gonna see about the rest of the face once I kind of get going here so I'm using this real techniques crease pro brush and then I'm just kind of like tapping it in additionally with my finger just to kind of like mesh and meld that product in I always have a like red tip of my nose here but I have been getting this like hormonal crazy redness like right through here and onto my top lip I've noticed in some pictures that I've taken recently I'm like, what's going on with my face? <laughs> so we're gonna definitely cover that up a little bit. And I'm just tapping a little bit into the areas where I have some hyperpigmentation from previous breakouts. And then I'll just do my chin. All right, <laughs> you can see exactly where I put this product because it's the areas of my face that are like super luminous right now. Um, so I'm gonna say right off the bat, which I think this is known about this product, don't get this product. If you were an oily bee, uh, <laughs> you will not enjoy it. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit of the RCMA over those areas. I'll probably honestly just put like a light little bit everywhere. So I'm just gonna powder those areas a little bit. I like a little glow, but especially under the eye, I need to make sure that this stuff sets. Okay, let's go ahead and pop back into the palette uh, just to finish out the eyes. I'm gonna stay a little bit more zoomed out because this is probably not gonna be too exciting. So actually, first of all, I'm gonna go through with that Wayne Goss number three. I really kind of want to like stretch this out a little bit. Yeah, just for something a little different. Okay, then I'm just gonna take Annihilation, which is the black in the palette. I'm just gonna run that under the lash line. I might add a little something. I just wanna see how I feel about this. Okay, I think what this look needs is a little bit of the pink right at the front. All right, I don't necessarily like that better, but I don't like it worse. So we're just going to stick with that. We are going to stick with that. We are moving on. Um, I am so excited. I'm so excited to play with this palette more. I cannot wait. You guys know I'm going to be dipping into these grungy greens pretty soon. Cannot wait to try this one and all of the other Odin's Eye eyeshadows. So far, A++. That's all I got to say, but I feel very weird and unbalanced without my brows on. So why don't we go ahead and do that next? Uh, we're going to go through with the Glossier Boy Brow and the Brow Flick. I don't know how I missed the fact that this was created with Katie Jane Hughes. Uh, hello, who is like my brow icon. So we are going to go through with a little bit of the boy brow first and then like add some like flicks with the brow flick, hence the name. I think it'll be really interesting to see a more like airy, wispy brow with like such a strong eyeshadow look. We're going to give it a go. I don't know how I feel about this product as far as like hold goes it definitely doesn't seem to be as strong as like my 24 7 brow setter from benefit or like my uh refi brow sculpt this is definitely more of like a gimme brow type situation which is fine but it's definitely not going to give me like the most Hold, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I will say this this product is definitely like thickening like where I already have 
a good bit of hair. It's really like thickened up my brows. But the problem is like, especially on this one, I have like a little bald spot here. So that's not doing me any favors because there's no hair there. So I'm not sure about this one. By the way, I have the shade brown in the boy brow and also the same thing in the brow flip. So you know, I am a big user of brow pens. Right off the bat, I have to say, I like the fact that this one has a nice thin tip. The color is like not deadly opaque, but it's not like super sheer. I've had a couple before where it's like, it's almost like watercolor on your brows. And for me, I don't know. I actually, I want something that's a little bit more opaque because brow hairs are opaque. Like nobody's hair is see-through. Well, I know some people like blondes feel like their hair's a little see-through, but like I want actual hairs. This really kind of sucks because I feel like I see some little like flicky chunks from the boy brow, like from me, like kind of coloring outside the lines, if you will, with the boy brow. And I feel like I need to like clean all of that up to then be able to go through and like etch these hairs in. I don't know. And that just really sucks because here I have an eye look that I really like and like having shatastic brows with an eye look that you really like is like having a beautiful painting and then like putting the cheesiest frame around it. I just don't think I'll know more until I use these products on their own. What I could see is going through with this product after I've filled in my brows, like with something else, like if I'm using a powder or a pomade or a pencil and then using this to like add a little bit more oomph. Um, and then this brow flick, I'm gonna have to try when I use the other brow fixatives that I like. So now my very last Glossier product that I have to try today is the Solar Paint. This is the shade Ray. This is their sort of like luminous, slightly shimmery, liquidy bronzer. I'm excited to try this out. I don't think that this is a product that I will necessarily get a lot of use out of this time of year. Uh, it's January for God's sakes. I don't, I mean, on one hand it's like, yes, give me more bronzer cause I'm gonna be so pale, but this is like a more luminous shimmery bronzer. Um, I'm hoping it's not like too sparkly. Oh no, but dang, it looks freaking, it looks really warm. Oh, okay. 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 So this does have a little bit, oh, you guys, that looks kind of orange though, doesn't it? I don't know, peeps. I mean, I like the luminosity of it, but holy smokes, she looks orange. Oh my God. Okay. I think that this will work as a summer glow product, but right now I am so pale. Okay, we're gonna use the tiniest bit. Um, I will say, I think that the blush that I have is on the warmer side, so um, hopefully they'll blend together. Like, And of course, I would probably normally use a, uh, a little bit like neutral to cool blush with this, but um, the blush and lip that I got <laughs> from Odin's Eye, they're, they're both on the like warmer side. And so, you know, I'm using what I got. I didn't exactly think like, okay, Kelly, get a full complete look. Okay, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. It's definitely like blendable, Grant <laughs> granted I put on the tiniest amount. I just don't want it to be too clashy. I think this is gonna be a product that I'm gonna have to like come back to uh, come, you know, um, April. But since I did get, what was Glossier doing? Were they doing like 25, 30% off? Honestly, they don't do like huge sales ever. So I just really was like, okay, I, there's a couple things that I wanted to get. And I was like, well, it's now or not through the rest of winter. I know that a lot of people have been using this as like a liquid eyeshadow too. I could see that being really pretty, but this is definitely like warm toned. All right, um, it looks really good on the skin. Like, I think it's gonna be a beautiful product for the summer, which is exactly what I figured it would be, but it looks it looks really good. But if I use much more than that, um, it's gonna look real orange. And I am like neutral to warm already. So <laughs> I'm gonna need to look at the other shades, but I feel like this was like the shade right in my range. Maybe I could have gone with the one that was like lighter than this perhaps. Maybe that one is like a little bit more neutral. I was watching the Sunny edit uh, and she used a couple of the shades. She's darker than I am, but that's kind of where I was like, oh, those look kind of pretty. I wanna try it out. So that is our Glossier stuff. Hands down, I have to say my favorite product was the uh, stretch concealer. I'm really excited to have this. I think it looks great on the skin. That is all I have on. That's all I have on and it looks really nice. I will be excited to try this once the weather warms up. 
not for a long time. These two, I'm definitely gonna have to try a little bit more. I am so picky about brow products and since I don't really have like a lot of brow, I need something that's gonna like give me a little bit more, but we will see how this lasts throughout the day too. So now let's go back and work with the last two Odinside products. Nope, the last three Odinside products that I have. So I did get a blusher, a highlight, and a lip product. Uh, one of these I've already tried and I love it. So that's gonna be a little spoiler alert right there for you, but let's go through with this flower blusher. This is the little Jasmine shade. Again, like I said, I don't know how, I don't know how this goes with this look, but it's gonna be what we try. So this has little micro flex of like a gold shimmer to it, but it is like a beautiful, like terracotta peachy tone. So we're gonna go through with the Wayne Goss number 10 with this one. Oh, okay, it's pigmented, wow. Oh, I think it actually goes okay with this look. It's like giving me a little bit of life. Mm-hmm, I love this color, holy smokes. So the shimmer, I could probably do without the shimmer. It's not super noticeable, but if I look up really close, I have like little micro specks of sparkle, but it doesn't like show. I don't feel like fairies were dancing on my face or anything, so. That, and it doesn't like enhance texture a lot, but it's not something that's like needed. I love this color though. Oh, okay. All right, now for highlight, look at this. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Stupid lights. Okay, I think I've kind of like gotten it to where you can see. This is so pretty. It's so pretty. It really looks almost like a quartz, like a stone. It's beautiful. I'm definitely gonna have to take a picture here before I touch it. Okay, I had to make sure to take a picture of this beautiful highlight before I use it. Uh, I just wanna grab a small brush because I don't know like how pigmented this is going to be. I'm actually gonna take the BK Beauty 201. Uh, oh, it feels, wow, okay, that's really pretty. Ooh, it does look a little glittery though. Okay. It's pretty, but it, it again, you won't be able to see it um, in the camera, but it does have little like micro flecks of shimmer. Not usually my jam, but we're gonna give this a go. I don't love it. Oh, it, okay, I'm gonna put it on with my finger maybe. Okay, this is not really wanting to come off. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little surprised, so uh, it looks pretty on the camera, I think, but I'm a little bit surprised because I swear, I'm gonna try to grab like a little bit more densely packed brush. Let's go in with this precision foundation brush. Uh, so when I was watching Teresa is Dead, I was watching her do her video on the Odinside products and I swear that she was talking about these highlighters and I know that she does not like glitter on her face and this is glitter. Do not buy this if you don't want glitter on your face. It is little specks of glitter. As I keep putting it on to try to see like if eventually some like shimmer is gonna come off. No, it's just, it's just packing more glitter on my face. I mean, here in the camera, it looks like nice and sheeny, but um, it's actually probably just the light reflecting off the glitter and off my like glowy prepped hydrated skin. Well, you can't win them all, folks. So I don't know if you can see that, if you can see that there's glitter in there, but it's like micro pink shimmer, and then it's got like little gold and pink and almost like multicolor glitters in it. Can't win them all. This is not one, this is not one that I'll even ever reach for. I'm actually gonna put it back in the package and hopefully, uh, Hopefully I will find someone who likes glitter and can get behind that because I want to gift that to someone who enjoys glitter. All right, it wasn't a product that I enjoy, but we're going to just erase that slightly negative uh, experience and move on to something that I already know that I really freaking love. This is the Alva Cream Lip Stain. Uh, I got one of these because a friend said that she really liked them and Honestly, I wish that I'd picked up more, uh, especially now I wish that I had not gotten a highlighter and picked up two of these. So I got the little Jasmine shade. It's the same shade that like goes in conjunction with this blush. I'm gonna put it on. I don't necessarily think it goes really great with this look, but we're gonna pop it on just so you can see it. I really enjoy this. These smell so good. It reminds me, it really reminds me of something from my past, like, or childhood, like maybe like sweet tarts or something like that. So again, I would never wear this shade with this look. I will probably take this 
lip color off to pop something else on and take a few pictures, but this is so comfortable. So I wore this on Christmas day because I wanted a little something on my lips, but uh, I've made the mistake before on Christmas of wearing like full on red, red lips. And then when I eat, like it just is everywhere. So I just wanted something that would give me a little bit of color and wear off like gracefully. It does leave a little bit of stain behind. It definitely is like, you can kiss it off, but it's not so pigmented that it's gonna be super messy. So I really like this. This I would definitely recommend and I would definitely buy more the next time I order from Odin's Eye. So now very quickly, I'm gonna go change out my lip. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, changed my lip out. I thought this was a good time to use a couple things that I got on Black Friday. So this is the Bite Yay Sayer Gloss in Raspberry Swirl. I love this. I didn't put a lip liner on or anything. I just wanted it to be a little sheer and soft considering how bold our eye look is. Then I actually also went through my waterline with the Makeup Geek Indigo Full Spectrum Liner. I got this in that bundle that I got with the eyeshadow quad and I think it's perfect. I also think that blue liner does for your eye whites as a blue toned red lipstick does for your teeth. It just makes everything look a little whiter. So I could definitely use that today. So use those both. Oh, and by the way, I also did my lashes. I've actually already done the outro for this video. And as I'm chatting and yammering on, I realized my eyes look a little like less open than usual. What's going on here? <laughs> I realized I don't have any mascara on. So I just went through with the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara from Maybelline and then threw on my Lashies Baby Lash just on the outside. Well, they're like a half lash, not even. They're almost like a third lash. So I <laughs> just popped those on the outside. I did not want to put anything too overwhelming because I really want to be able to see all the magic from that like halo. So loving that. Uh, speaking of loving, okay, when it comes down to it, I'm really happy with these purchases. Like I, yes, there were some misses for me, but you know, that's going to happen when you're buying from brands that you've never tried before and things that you have no idea about. However, the Odin's Eye eyeshadows, definitely, definitely a hit. Definitely no regrets. Holy crap. Holy crap. Crap, I am excited, you know, that I'm gonna be like playing with these. I cannot wait to dip into the other ones I got, especially 40% off, like, oh, I mean, part of me, like my little like makeup addict heart is like, you should have bought more. And part of me is like, no, because now you can enjoy the three that you have and not feel overwhelmed. I will let you know in the future about the other palettes that I got. By the way, if you're not subscribed and you want to know how I feel about these products in the future, definitely make sure to stick around, join the fam. I would love to have you here. So the blush, I am really, I really love this shade. I will say I could do without the little glitter bits. And when I ordered this, I knew that they had like a sheeny blush and a matte blush. And to me, a, a sheen blush is going to like have a reflective quality, like a little bit of, well, a sheen, but not like glitter. Luckily, this doesn't show up that much on my skin, especially compared to the highlight, but uh, it just it just isn't something that's necessary for me. So I would definitely order more of the Odin's Eye blushes if I felt the need to add powders to my collection. This feels really nice and finely milled, silky smooth. Uh, wow, at 40% off, I got a really good deal on it. So I would definitely pick up another one of those. Hands down, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no sparkle in my highlights. Thank you very much. But I will hopefully find someone that doesn't mind that and pass this along. It looks gorgeous in the palette. It's a beautiful experience. But between the glitters and then also just not feeling like really any of the sheen came off. It just felt like glitter. It just felt like little micro glitter. So can't win them all, but I'm definitely excited to have all of the other items that I got, including this lip. I'm not wearing it now because it just doesn't go, but it's gonna be a staple in my collection. So I would definitely order more of these in the future if I feel the need to add to my lip collection. I'm saying that as I go through here because I really want more of all of these, but I don't need any of them right now. So I'm trying to just like add a little disclaimer at the end for all of you to know, don't worry, I'm not gonna be buying a bunch more stuff, but also for me to remind myself that I'm not gonna be buying a bunch more stuff anytime soon. Black Friday was enough for me for a little while. All right, now into Glossier. So hands down, the winner of this purchase for me was the Stretch Concealer. Uh, this was like something I've been wanting to try for a long time and I did want to get it as a discount. So this is really great. I'm looking forward to trying this solar paint out more as the weather gets a little warmer, as I get a little bit more tan and feel a bit more confident wearing something that's more warm. But on the face right now, it looks great. I'm really excited to try this out more. I just don't think it's gonna be a product for this time of year. And the brow products for me, like I don't see myself like the pen, I've just gotta give a little bit more of a go with some other products. 
for the price this brow gel like I don't get the hype around it like it, it did a good job thickening and now I feel like oh okay so I guess I need to play with these a little bit more by the way I did also get the Glossier U perfume uh, that's the other thing that I got on my Black Friday purchase with this. I love that fragrance, uh, hands down, no regrets with that one there. I will be talking about that in my fragrance video coming up, but that one I love as well. So altogether, not too bad. I mean, really we had like a couple little mini misses and one like big miss, but that's not too bad. I'm, I'm feeling good about my purchases. I hope that you've enjoyed getting to see this little try on session. Uh, it feels good to break into some of these Black Friday purchases. And again, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos of me using all of my Black Friday haul. So if you have any questions about any of these, please drop them down below. If there's something from Odin's Eye or Glossier that I need to purchase to try out, also leave that down below and I will see you really soon.